Hey guys, how you doing today? I'm going to do a short vid on uh, lure, the different ways to reel in the lure. Um, I'm not going to try to catch a fish per se. So, let me get this set up though. I want to put, okay, yeah, that'll work. And that'll work. Okay. So, first off, let me switch poles here. All right, I've got a half inch ounce number two hook on the red slash silver. And I got my speed up to three. And I cast the two. Yep, I cast the two. What we're going to do is. Uh, I'm going to do like stop and go. I think first I'll try to do a stop and go for you guys. Once you get it going, you kind of do this. Go. Stop. Go. Stop. You know what I'm saying? And I'm... Oh. I was actually hooking onto a fish there, if you've seen that. But... That's like a stop and go. I don't actually use that much but that's like I said this is how you do a stop and go oh uh, there we go I had it on three doing pretty good I'm gonna bring it all the way in try to do a stop and go all the way and see if we can get another bite that I, I did get a really good bite that time Alright, so that was stop and go. <coughs> Excuse me. Alright, now I'm going to do straight and slow. I do believe I have to turn this down. And there's a straight and slow right there. You turn your real speed down to two. And just bring it in steady. If you're going too fast, you could drop your speed down to one. Depends on what reel you got. So you got to play with it, you know. Um, but that's actually a straight right there. If you've seen that, there we go. Just, you know, you just hold it down and uh, come in that that speed there and switch it up with some stop and go now I'm almost back in a little bit of stop and go alright so that's how we do that so I did straight and slow straight as you seen and I did stop and go so let's try uh, lift and drop. I'm going to turn my reel speed up for that to about four. Three or four. That's what I like to use. You can play with it. But that's what I like to use. And this is all you do. It, see, if it's on four, though, it won't show you. If you turn it down to three, you can see it. It'll show you. There we go. Lift and drop. And then you just, you know, bring it in like this for you new guys that don't know how to do this stuff. You can kind of get a visual on how to work it. And this is uh, clicking both, both buttons at the same time on the mouse there, left and right. And you just keep... You can let it set, you know, for a second if you want. Sometimes I do, sometimes I go up, down. Like I said, I'm actually not really caring if I catch anything. I'm not trying to catch anything at the moment. I'm just demonstrating these uh, different techniques for you guys. 
I did get a bite on the stop and go, though. That was pretty cool, and I'm not even not even trying to catch a fish. Okay, so stop and go. We did stop and go, lift and drop, straight, straight and slow. Oh, okay, so we got to do twitch. Okay, twitch, I do this. Let me turn it down a bit because um, it brings it to the surface a lot. You kind of want to be in the middle of the water right there. So if your reel speed's on two, it's a little bit easier. And for those of you who don't know how to change reel speed, it's K and L. And you can change your reel speed. You could also press shift if you want a little more speed. See that over there on the right? But um, anyway... Let me let it sink again. Anyway, it's just a nice, steady reel. And you do this. With the right mouse, you just kind of click it up and down. And you, you twitch it. You can twitch it fast. You can twitch it slow. You can twitch it all night long. <laughs> twitching in the morning. Twitching at night. <laughs> just messing around. But anyway, I mean, it's, it's pretty easy to do. So I think that's all the ones that I know of anyway. Um, and then with the jig, watch, I'll switch over to a jig. This one's got a pretty big hook on it. So watch, I'll try it on number three. Lift and drop. This is how you want to jig. Um, well, this is how I jig. I do a lot of lift and drop, and I have good luck when I'm jigging in real life and on here. But, yeah, you want to get a nice, pop it up off the bottom, you know, up and down like an S pattern there, is what I call it. And then you could do twitch, if you want. This is what I kind of do sometimes. I'll mix it up and then I'll let it, you know, do a little lift and drop, do some twitch, do some lift and drop, do some stop and go. You can do that with the, the worms too, the shad. It works pretty well. And I got my line cut. But anyway, that's the basic techniques and uh, whatnot. On how to do that so I hope that helps the newcomers out and uh, I hope you guys have fun fishing for sure